What's going on, fellas? Welcome to another episode of the Frankie Knuckles Show, where we cover everything UAV. Today we got an ex exclusive mod. We got the brand new DJI um, transmitter with that beautiful little silver wheel. But one thing I don't like about it that I don't really care about is the wheel, when you let it go, snaps back. See? If I let it go, it snaps back. Here's what it looks like when you're flying. It's almost like one of them things where you have to walk, chew gum, and pet your head, pet the top of your head. Very difficult when you're flying. In the scenario, if you watch the camera here, and you watch the actual video, when I raise the camera up, if I'm not paying attention while I'm flying, it drops back to central or neutral. Um, I'm not too fond of that. So I have a mod here that what we're going to do is we're going to change this so it doesn't snap back anymore. So stick with us and uh, I'll take you step by step and we'll adjust this so it works even better. All right, fellas, to begin this mod, our goal is to remove this auto center or spring-loaded switch here. Before we begin, we're going to need some tools. You're going to need a screwdriver, Phillips head, a couple different sizes uh, to get the job done. Okay? And it might even help to have a magnetic uh, Phillips head. Pin those pliers wouldn't hurt either. Uh, helps deal with the little screws. Now, I've started to begin the project to try to speed up some time. I got two of the four screws out already. Um, one just dropped, so that's nice. Basically, what we need to do is open the transmitter. And to do so, you have a screw here and here down here and down here as well so begin by removing the rest of the screws or remove all of them in your case okay <clears throat> here we go a little tip over, get them out, a little tap. This one's stuck a little, doesn't want to come out. Okay. No, there it goes. Alright, so we got our four screws edited away. Now, now that we got the back casing off, we can begin to separate this. The way this gets separated is real easy. You gotta be gentle. Because you got to remember, there's a port here for um, the flight simulator and this as well. So you've got cables in the back that you want to separate this gently with. So what you're going to want to do is turn it upside down, separate it from the bottom like this, lift up, and then pull out lightly, like wiggling back and forth. So you separate the antenna up here. There. See that? So you can separate that little piece that's underneath the antenna. And then what you're going to want to do is lay it down. And you're going to want to flip this gently over and underneath like so. And as you can see, see this cable right here? This goes to your flight simulator port. So what you're going to do is take this out by wiggling it gently back and forth. Okay? And then just lay that off to the side. Keep in mind, you have two other cables here. You have your LiPo battery, which is a new feature and you have the cable going up to your spin wheel which is here I'm gonna move this camera up just a smudge so you can see a little bit better so what you're gonna want to do is lay it down 
this piece underneath this piece, the top part of the transmitter. And once you do that, what you're going to want to do is remove this tape. Uh, let me see if I could get you a little closer in so you can see the tape. Right here and right here are pieces of tape. Um, you can probably see them there. Here's where this might help because you can kind of pick at it and peel it off gently making sure you do not peel uh, or damage the wire take these little pieces put them off to the side because you don't need them okay um, stick them off to the side like so Okay, and they're out of your way. Now what you're going to want to do is unscrew. You have two screws here. One and one. Take your screwdriver and begin unscrewing. Here's the one. Pull it out, put it to the side. These are much different, you'll notice too. Uh, this is a much longer screw than the transmitter screw itself. Okay, but just keep them aside so you don't get yourself confused. Take the other screw off, like so. And then what you're going to want to do is lift this up. See that? Okay, there's your wheel, and your wheel comes out like so. You're going to want to lift up and kind of pull out like that. Okay, once you get your wheel out, you're pretty much halfway there. Continue to unscrew the other extra screw um, to separate the pieces like so. So you have your wheel, which is here, and you have the part that goes to the wheel, which is the actual uh, camera control here. Let it gent lay that gently out of the way. And now what you're going to want to do is there's a little screw right here. It's a tiny little silver screw. Um, that's where this little screwdriver comes in handy. It's a tight screw, you're going to need something small. You're going to want to unscrew that like so. And then, in this case, take your pin nose pliers and grab it and move it out of the way. Now that you got the wheel loose, you're going to separate the wheel like so. Just wiggle it out and now you have this piece and this piece here's the problem to this wheel this little piece see this little metal spring load you want to remove this by wiggling it out and there you have it that piece you want gone okay so we take that out and now what we're going to do is put our wheel back in and the way we do that is um, this piece, if you look, let's try to get a close up for you. You'll look, if you notice, this piece has like a, a slit in it. I'll turn it sideways. See that slit? That's to go into the wheel there, into the actual switch of the board. This side goes into here, like so. So you put that in like this and you're good to go okay now you'll see you'll notice the wheel doesn't snap back anymore which is a beautiful thing so now the tough part is getting this little silver screw back into this hole that's where you're going to want to pin those pliers to help you you get it like so 
and then you screw it in. Don't over tighten it because it's plastic, but make it snug so it doesn't come loose over use. Good. <laughs> there we go. That's what we have, okay? See? Now, what we got to do is put this back into our transmitter. And we're going to take it and put it like so. Keep in mind, this part, our little slip part that I showed you before, goes in facing up. This piece goes in up. So you're going to want to go in on an angle like so and up. Okay? And then you work your way through it. Like so. There you have it. Okay, see? Lay this back on its side. And now you're going to want to take this. Which is your board. And you're going to need to align this here on the board. That little hole. With the slits here. So you basically got to work the wheel. And kind of get it to fall into place. There you have it. Okay? And then you're going to want to take your long screws, these guys, um, that guy, and you're going to want to screw it back in. Like so. Again, don't over tighten because uh, they're only plastic parts and you will strip them. You know, make them snug. Perfect. There you have it. That's what it should look like. Okay? Once you do that, um, you're going to want to retape your cable along the sides here. Um, let's see if I can get you down closer. Alright. Okay. So you're going to want to take your tape, like so. You're going to want to push this into the groove. There's a little groove here. Uh, you might not be able to see it too clear on the camera. Uh, maybe if I pick it up a little bit. And right in this area, there's a little groove there that you're going to place the wire into. And then apply the tape to it. Making sure that uh, you secure the wire nice. Take your other piece of tape and push this into the groove down here. There's another groove as well. Push it all the way down and then apply your tape right to the near area groove. And what you should have is something like that. Okay? See? Okay. Okay. So at this point, we pretty much modified what we needed to. Um, with our wheel, we se secured our wire here, and now we're ready to close this back up. Um, just want to let you know, we will be having another video coming out soon, uh, our next mod to this transmitter. We're going to put a range extender on, a booster, signal booster, as well as we're going to do boosted antennas 
for this transmitter and uh, a whole lot of other stuff. So stick around, subscribe to the channel, give us a likes up, thumbs up, and if you like, December 12th, we're giving the transmitter away absolutely free. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel and one random lucky winner will win a brand spanking new, newly modified transmitter from DJI. So now let's wrap this bad boy up. Now that we did everything we need to, we gotta reattach our simulator port here. So what you're gonna wanna do is tip the transmitter up a little bit to bring it closer in. Hold it by this metal up here. Let me turn the camera up a little to give you a little better view. Put your finger around the metal bracket here of the transmitter so you get a good firm hold. And then take your wire and port here that we just took off and reapply it back into those slots. Like so. Push it in nice and snug so it's in there like so. And then what you're going to want to do is now close this bad boy up. Keeping uh, in mind the wires that are over here, do not pinch them. Make sure you tuck them under and you're going to come on a slant and down. So you're going to want to get this little groove here. Uh, let me see if I can show you. See this little groove? That little groove needs to go underneath this groove here. Like so, and then wiggle it back up, all the way back up. Again, making sure that no wires are sticking out here. Push them all in. And now we should just be able to wiggle it up and close it up. And there you have it. There you go. Now, I'm going to put these screws in and I'll be right back. Alright, fellas. Welcome back again. Alright, so now I put all the screws back in and all four ports here. Snumped them up real nice. And our project's complete. So you might be asking yourself, what's the purpose of it? I'm going to show you right now. This is a beauty. And I know you're going to love it. As I showed you before, my wheel, when I would move it, would snap back into place. The problem was, is the camera would snap back too. So you constantly had to keep in mind where your wheel was while you're flying. It's too much concentration. It's much easier like this. Now, I roll my wheel up, and I let it go. I move it down a little, and the camera moves. So I can shoot it down to the table and let it go. I can move it up a little bit and I'm fine. It doesn't do this effect and then snap back up. I can move it all the way to the top and I can move it all the way to the bottom. I set it wherever I want and it works perfectly every time. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial and tip. Um, Again, like, uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it. If you have any questions, post a comment. And make sure you subscribe so you have a shot at winning yourself a free DJI modified transmitter. In addition, uh, we'll be doing an additional mods to this transmitter uh, in coming uh, future videos. So keep an eye out for that. Happy flying. Hope you enjoyed this. And... Uh, Stay tuned for more. Take care.